Well, hi everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Wednesday morning. I have to get my days right here. I keep confusing it with Tuesday. This whole week, the next two weeks with having days off, it just messes with me a little bit. There's a very weak cold front right in here this morning with southerly winds ahead of it. They're even a little breezy still in far eastern Nebraska. Behind it, the winds are more westerly. There's not a lot of cold air behind that front, and in fact, with the extra clouds here and with that westerly downsloping component to the wind, it's actually warmer behind the cold front in western Nebraska this morning. That said, there will be more impacts later today when it comes to the temperatures. I'll show you those forecast highs for today coming up in a little bit. But first things first, let's look at how things play, things play out today. I think for most of us, it's going to be more clouds than sun today, as we'll see a lot of mid and upper level clouds pass through. Maybe a little more sun for most of the day in the southeast, although later in the day, the clouds will fill in. So most of us pretty cloudy by the end of the afternoon. Will there be rain? Probably not. The best chance would be out here towards northeast Colorado. As we get into tonight, the chance of rain will increase from the southwest. So I'll throw in a slight chance around the Tri-Cities. Still the best chance would be to the southwest, and then better chances coming post-midnight. So after midnight into early tomorrow morning, showers, and maybe a transition over to snow. Now, I do not expect a whole lot of mixed precipitation of freezing rain or sleet in between here. This should be a pretty sharp change from rain to snow where it does change over. Temperature profile is going to be very important because temperatures are not going to be that cold tomorrow morning. And in fact, maybe barely below freezing here to the northwest. So some of the snow may be a very wet, slushy snow tomorrow morning. Now, as we head through the day tomorrow, it's still a little bit up in the air with how much moisture we actually see from this system. Will it be a lighter event? Will we see some decent moisture? Uh, will it be rain? Will it be snow? That's the other big question. Now, again, temperatures will be decently mild despite that cold front which will be right about here tomorrow at, at noon but cold enough that we could still see snow but when it hits the ground much of it may melt or turn at least very slushy out there so this could be a very slushy snowfall lower moisture chances to the southeast better chances i think just north and west of the tri-cities right in this swath right here this chance will continue through the afternoon, but I think the best chance of accumulating snow will be in the morning because temperatures are actually going to rise during the afternoon. So, you know, yeah, while it's still snowing, even if it's 37, 38 degrees, that snow is going to be melting on contact with the surface. So it's going to be tough to stick, especially as it lightens up later in the day. Then as we get into tomorrow evening, the last of the snow clears out by about 9 or 10 o'clock. We're done with it. And then as we get towards uh, Friday morning, some clearing, but also maybe some stubborn low clouds, maybe fog. We'll see early on Friday. I'm a little concerned about this because this may be a little more stubborn than previously expected, which could hold temperatures back a little bit on Friday. We'll see. So let's get to snowfall totals. Now, first things first, I will let you know as of right now, and I will do a double check just to make sure here if anything's happened in the last half hour. Nope, nothing has happened. But as of right now, no advisories, no warnings when it comes to the snow for tomorrow. This is probably going to be a lower end event. And in fact, I'm a little bit iffy about even this right here for the Tri-Cities area. But right in here, maybe one to two inches of snowfall. Very slushy snowfall. Tri-Cities, maybe a half inch. Kearney would probably have the best chance of even that. I'm a little iffy on that inch right there, though. But again, it's going to be a very slushy snow. But might be some decent beneficial moisture out of this rainfall-wise or just rain and melted snow. There may be a quarter to a half inch of liquid equivalent precipitation, maybe higher. If this thing overperforms, we'll see. That would be some great news just to get that kind of moisture. Well, let's go to the, your highs for today. Now, before the snow and the rain and all that stuff get here, a decent day today, mid-40s to mid-50s for highs. Your warmest temperatures will be in the southwest. Now, I mentioned earlier there's a cold front that's traversing southeastward through the area. So notice it is going to be a little cooler today. Not cool or cold by any means, but cooler today in the northwest. These guys, these places got up into the 50s yesterday. We're going to see more 40s here in the northwest, but 50s here to the southwest. We're going to shoot for low 50s in the Tri-Cities today with some cooler 40s to the east. Tonight, as that moisture moves in, this temperature very critical. Is it just going to be rain? Is it going to be snow? And again, where that temperature drops below freezing, that's where your best chance of maybe change over to some snow would be is right in here. Tri-Cities, might just stay rain tomorrow. We'll see. Then how do highs go tomorrow? Mid to upper 30s, some 40s off to the southeast. So again, we're all warming up above freezing. So if it does happen to snow, snow's going to be melting or at least become very slushy 
tomorrow. So it's going to be a very wet snow, unlike that powdery snow with the cold weather we had last week or the week before. So uh, it's a very different type of a snow event. The snow moves out. The sky is trying to clear up a bit, so we're going to be a little colder out there tomorrow night and Friday morning, upper teens and lower 20s. But like I mentioned, there may be some stubborn low clouds I'm a little concerned about on Friday and that, or early Friday, and that might actually hold us back a little bit Friday. So we'll go with mid to upper 30s, low to mid 40s, warmest in the southwest. But again, if there are some stubborn low clouds here, we may struggle temperature-wise on Friday. It depends on how long those would stick around if they were to develop. So let's look at the forecast. Now, as of right now, I'm still calling for a mostly sunny day on Friday. But again, if that changes and there are more clouds, then certainly we may be closer to 41 degrees there. Again, a little messy. I think majority rain tonight and Thursday in the Tri-Cities, but maybe a little snow mixing in here. The rest of the forecast, Saturday and Sunday, the weekend, the holiday look at weekend looks great. No travel problems for Saturday night if you happen to be going out and about for New Year's Eve celebrations. Just got to be safe about it, of course, but no weather issues, at least. Uh, as we'll drop a little bit below freezing late Saturday night into Sunday morning. New Year's Day, for the most part, looks good. It's New Year's night where things will turn a little more interesting Sunday night into Monday as we see moisture move back in. But the path of it's going to be very important how that impacts us behind that system. A little colder, but not dramatically cold right now. A real quick look at some of the long-range models that we do have here. I'm going to jump this ahead real quick here. We're going to go this is Saturday. So this is New Year's Eve. No problem. Sunday, maybe starting to see some moisture Sunday night. Now the European forecast model, and this is, I'm going to back this up a little bit, the European model is very aggressive Sunday night into Monday. Has the path of that storm much farther south and east, the low south of Wichita, Kansas, which would be snow and ice conditions for a large part of our area, and that could be a big time mess Monday. Monday night might even linger it into Tuesday before it clears out of here. But that's not a certain thing by any means. The GFS model is much farther northwest. Look at this. Sunday night and the Monday morning. Look how much farther northwest all that snow and ice are, or that area is. The low pressure sitting by Ogallala, not Wichita, Kansas. And then that will uh, move off to the northeast, but we may get a little wraparound moisture. So there's still a lot of uncertainty. I'll just tell you right now, there is no certainty to the forecast when it comes to how things will play out early next week. So you're going to want to continue to monitor the forecast in the days ahead and see how this place out. Well, I have to let you all go, but I want to thank you all for watching on this Wednesday morning. I'll see you all again Thursday with all the latest. Take care. God bless. Bye.